When a historic moment in time came, the Ahram, which is the biggest newspaper in Egypt, had to call on a calligrapher to draw that sentence because no font was worthy enough. He's a graphic designer and an activist and a professor at the American University in Cairo. She's really researched the history of the Arabic calligraphy and looking at letters as far back from various uh, Islamic texts and Quran and using them to create these beautiful patterns. That idea gives you so much power to know that you have so much history behind you I still think there's something magical about Arabic calligraphy. It communicates with the uh, people who live in the Arab world at a visceral level. And the minute they see beautiful script, they don't need to read it, but they can understand that it's important and it's valuable. I think one of the, her most effective and powerful project is the A Thousand Times No. She's uh, working on this encyclopedia of Arab and Islamic designs. It's this uh, search for knowledge. Bahia's uh, work is influential to, to the younger generation. The army was trying to, uh, to catch some protesters, and this young woman who was there uh, protesting was caught by three military men who stripped her of her clothes and her, her blue bra was exposed. I decided to capture that specific incident by painting the blue bra on the streets of Cairo uh, to remind us of the shame that we felt as a society when that woman was humiliated. I definitely say she's a role model for the younger generation because there isn't this age gap. Again, to kind of use our own rich history of Arab culture and language and bring it into kind of modern Arab society is really important. I hope we will reach the phase when we, where we will have the luxury of communicating with art as beauty to change lives. <laughs>